Hey guys, my name is Max, in case you're new to my channel. Whatever you just saw back there is 100% real. And in today's video, I'll show you how to make your very own homemade Levitron, aka levitating spinning top. All right, let's cut the talk and get started. So this is everything you're going to need in order to make the levitating spinning top. First, you're gonna take a three centimeter cut pencil or bamboo stick and then insert a rounded thumbtack. Make sure it's rounded so that the spinning top can spin. Then attach on a spacer. Take your neodymium magnet and slide it on. Another spacer. And now for some fine tuning weights. These little rings come from brand new bearings you buy. These are also called bearing covers. Here's an assortment of different weights you can use on your spinning top. And trust me, you can even use string to change and fine tune the weight of your spinning top. So now we finished assembling the spinner for the Levitron. Before you start trying to levitate your spinning top on a ring magnet, just try it on a smooth surface and see if it works well. So as you can see here guys, I made a cardboard base for a ring magnet right here. It has these hex nuts integrated right into here with these bolts. You can make some really fine adjustments to the angle of this magnet, whether it tilts that way a little bit or that way or whichever way. So yeah, it helps me out a lot. So if I rotate the bolts counterclockwise, it will lower that point. Or if I turn them clockwise, it will lift that point up. So it'll rise. Same with every corner. And every little adjustment, even a millimeter, can affect how the spinning top is going to move. Make sure that your ring magnet is facing the correct direction, because maybe the poles are incorrect. So if you place your spinning top right here and you feel an invisible bump, that's incorrect because then it won't float. So flip your magnet around and now if you can feel it's kind of pushing upwards from a few inches above but when you push it into the hole it just wants to pull you through. So that means you got the right side. the other way so we have to adjust that. This will take you quite some time. If your spinning top is really wobbling that means it's probably imbalanced and you have to correct something and make sure everything is very very straight. One eternity later. So guys, we finally got it levitating. Pretty cool, huh? Now, I do just want to say, guys, there's different factors you need to make sure of before you go out and conduct this experiment. Air temperature is one of them. Since magnets are sensitive to heat, you may have to adjust something on the spinning top, add a bit more weight, or remove some weight. So yeah. And also don't do this experiment outside. It'll be much, much harder getting your spinning top to levitate since there's such thing as wind. And also do not have any metal objects laying around the Levitron in a range of one foot, just to be safe. Just like it's easier to balance on a bike in motion than one standing still, the spinning of the top provides the needed stability. Of course it's easier to balance riding a bike than getting one of these tops levitating. This phenomenon was originally discovered in the 1970s. There isn't actual clarity on who invented this levitating spinner. It was sold as a toy, most popularly in the mid to late 1990s. Alright, so what is happening here? We know that a magnet has a north pole and a south pole. The base magnet and the spinning top are facing each other with like poles which is also causing the spinning top to float, but what actually keeps it there in the center is also the hole in the base magnet. It's very important that your magnet has a hole. And also what keeps it in position is that it has the perfect amount of weight so it basically doesn't fly off the base or doesn't land down on the base. 
only after a while when it stops spinning. And as you can see here, the smallest movement of the base magnet can make the spinning top fall. So on camera it spun up to 1 minute, off camera it actually spun up to 2 minutes. It may not sound like a lot to you, but there are other people who fine tune their spinning tops so well that theirs got to spin up to 20 minutes. So if you have a lot of time in your hands, you can get your Levitron to spin longer than mine. Alright guys, that should wrap up this week's video showing you how to make your very own homemade Levitron from some few materials. Now I do just want to say, if you're going to get your ring magnet, do not order it online because it's very heavy and it'll cost a lot of shipping. Just get it from some old microwave or large speaker, the back of the amplifier in the speaker. And um, yeah, I myself was very amazed by this thing when I got it levitating. Because yeah, a while back I tried to get it working and I almost gave up, but of course I gave it another try a few months later, which is now, and I got it levitating. Like always, don't forget to like this video, share it with your friends, and subscribe if you're new. Thanks for watching guys, see you in the next one. Peace!